I remember this time very well. I'm an executive at Bad Boy Records. Um, I remember you reinventing the game. Um, when we were working in an analog CD world, you went digital. For anybody who doesn't know, explain to, to, to our listeners that time because the music industry was not digital. Actually, the music industry fought against technology, yeah. if you remember correctly. Of course, Napster and all of all of that happened. I mean, shoot, yeah, man. It was a time. And, where, and, and, uh, and quick question for you. Were you always a tech guy? I was, I mean, my, my, my former partner was much more of a tech guy than I was, but I was always up on tech. Okay. Always up on tech, man. Shout out to my mom and got me a computer when I was a kid, uh, Tandy. And I just always up, up on the on a computer game. Um, and Napster, I had that early and I had other friends that would just put me on with stuff. But absolutely, man. Um, shoot, even, even last night I was talking to somebody, I just bought some more Bitcoin. Um, you know, I'm on it for the future. I'm a futurist, man. You know, I look at things that's going to come and, up. And speaking of the future, because I, I want to bring our listeners back. You know, we spoke about Napster. And I lived during that time, just like you. I was, I was part of the music industry heavy, where the music industry really pushed against technology. And they wanted to yeah. shut Napster down because yeah. everybody at that time was downloading free music. But I don't think what the music industry understood, and maybe, you know, this can lead into to the emergence of, of a digiwax. Technology was happening whether you embraced it or not. That's and right. I don't care what your line of work is, you have to understand that there's always going to be a change in industry. For us, it was technology. And the powers that be, the upper echelon of the record labels, um, you know, they, they have been doing business one way for a hundred years. Right. And now, you know, people are downloading and stealing music. And instead of saying, you know what, this is the future, let's work with a Napster. They did everything in their power to fight technology and shut Napster down. Uh, at that man. time, the genie was let out the bottle. Yeah, man. No going back. Yeah, I think, you know, the music business, if it could take it back, it, it, it lost, it missed the opportunity to invest in technology. They could have easily did, like, you know, they could have easily either one label could have bought Napster and said, we're going to own this, or they could have all came together and said, you know what, we're going to cut this thing up and we're all going to own a piece of it. And they would have made that to the machine, um, you know, uh, and that, that was with multiple platforms they could have did that with, you know. Can, 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 can I say, because for anybody who, who's listening who doesn't understand what a Napster was, can you explain to them what Napster was? Yeah, Napster was a is a peer-to-peer -peer, um, uh, audio file sharing platform. So basically, it was almost a free platform for artists or anybody to put music up on and share it with anybody else without having to pay. So I could take a song, digitize it into an MP3 or MP4 or whatever format I want, a wave, post it on Napster, and now you have instant access to downloading that song um, anywhere in the world. So it was the first shared platform for music that really got popular. You know, it just became very popular. Everybody had it downloaded on their site. But the problem was that there wasn't a way to monetize it at the time. Nobody so, was paying for music. But yes. this is where the gym, you know, we're living in the coronavirus, right? Mm. The, the, the era of the coronavirus. Mm. But whenever there's crisis, there's opportunity. That's right. Now, now, just bear with me for a second, because that was a crisis period for the music industry. Music, the way it was consumed, yeah. the way it was sold, the way it was listened to, it was changing. Yeah. The old guard could not embrace this change. And mm. guess what happened? And you'll remember this like it was yesterday because you lived it just like I did. Mm. There was another guy who had zero to do with the music industry who looked at what was going on with Napster in the way the music industry was not embracing technology and comes up with a brilliant idea and decides, oh, you guys don't know how to monetize 
on the new way people are consuming music, or better yet, you're pushing against technology, well, let me go, because y'all are used to brick and mortar retail stores. This was back in the days when people were actually going to retail stores to buy records. You mm. go to the Tower Records. You go to the FYEs of the world. You would go to the Best Buys. Guy named Steve Jobs decides, oh no, we're going to change the world. I have nothing to do with the music industry, but you're in crisis. I see an opportunity. Now let me capitalize, and I'm going to open the biggest record store in the world and name it iTunes. Oh, my Lord. And, you know, he, um, yeah, man. So, again, man, taking all these lessons, you know, the, the fact that he was saying, hey, I'm in a hardware and software business. You know, I have this invention here called the iPod, and this iPod is going to be able to store all your music. It's the best MP3 player, not just because it's the MP3, but why? Because it's connected to this marketplace, this store of music called iTunes. And here you can download a song for uh, 99 cents or I think they had it all the way up to 129 uh, for certain songs. And this music will go directly into this player. They co-inhabit, they, they work together. Um, and now you can take your music and travel anywhere in the world. We got these cool little white uh, uh, earphones for you to go with it. And it took off, absolutely, man. And it set the way for a whole nother way of thinking. Now, now the genie was out the bottle. Everybody was on it. And um, it's crazy because that became the norm. And we went on the next step even higher. You know, guys out of I think, Finland or Sweden or whatever said, you know what, we're going to create this thing called Spotify. And Spotify became a streaming platform of choice and sort of forced Apple to even switch their model. Um, to go but, from but evolution, technology, it's evolution. always changing. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just hoping that people understand, I don't care what the crisis looks like. No. Dig deeper. No. Look for right. a different set of eyes because the opportunity is there. Look, man, you know, with the, we were talking about, um, you know, what we're doing, we're talking about how we're all like in this new learning curve of going live and, you know, how we're setting our, our, our systems up at, uh, to be able to communicate through the internet because the world has changed. And like you said, there's opportunity in that. Like, who's to say that somebody's not smart enough to say, you know what, Prez, power moves and this person, we're going to go out and just start getting you guys advertising. Do you mind putting this little logo in the back in the bottom corner of your screen while you guys talk um you know there's money in that um there's going to become other companies that are going to say you know what we created a network of of mics and a, and a system that allow you to immediately interconnect um to where you know these are te technologies nobody built it yet but i'm just saying that i agree with you that when it's crisis there's this absolute opportunity right now um you do have to dig and find it and you have to level up in yourself. You know, a lot of people I feel like are using this opportunity, I'm not opportunity, but this situation as a way to, to, to make excuses, man. You know, nothing's changing. You're living, you're breathing. Um, I don't want to hear that you overslept. I don't want to hear that you, you know, wasn't into it because of what's going on or my kids are bothering me. Hey, man, that's a part of our, that's a part of the game. You still got to score. You still got to find a way to get to the basket, so. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.